hello guys congratulations on making it this far and in this lesson we're going to be looking at using icons in react so um what are the things that it entails now don't worry too much i've mapped out a library easy to use library um that is going to actually help you out with these so when it comes to icons just don't worry you've got it covered and now without any further ado let's see what i have in store for you okay first thing first i need think i need to point out that the um icons user from font awesome now if you just um uh, doing regular um web development without any library like react or framework um you know react angular etc now you can make use of these right um up and then the actually very great and awesome and nice i've had tons of great experience with them and but now let's see they actually have a way of using it with react and you just have to install awesome blah 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 and you can also see on npm okay we have react font awesome we have um show you okay option we have okay a library in react but i'm not going to use that just scratch that up in react icons now react icons is actually what i recommend it to you the reason is that it combines it actually combines icons library for react now okay we have ant design okay icons now if you look here let's let's see we're going to have various okay of these we can have that for bootstrap icons i hope you know bootstrap actually has icons okay then we have all of these all of these but the one we are particularly interested in is um the font awesome now let's see how we're going to actually install that all you just have to do is use npm install react icon save so just copy that and then come right here into your project okay this is our project and remember how what i taught you come here to view and then terminal okay so now inside you actually run additional operations or if you prefer to do it the previous way i showed you you could just come here and then inside of your project you could type in cmd here to the command prompt whichever one works for you okay so all i just have to do is paste this and then okay so let's install react icon okay while that is trying to okay accomplish its task i'm going to open my package um dot json here to confirm it's not in my dependencies all right okay so we have it installed all right so i'm going to close this up and then i'm going to close this up all right so first the home component now we're going to look for let me close this up okay now okay um come to font awesome now we're going to open this up all right where do we have icons the first okay we have icons here so to make things okay um easier to know which icons we are looking for um in particular we i'm going to open up the previews of the html um format okay so we have the index.ht okay we have now to use the font also stands for font awesome and then i could just these okay did that copy yeah all right so just come back here and inside of these i'm just going to which icon are we looking for in particular right i think we need something for microphone graph okay let's search for microphone Think we should have okay we have this just click on this it's going to copy all right then all i just have to do is paste it here all right then add a comma to import all the um, icons you need so let me have um graph or bar 
whatever that is let's search for chat okay so we have these all right that works okay then the next we have okay i think something graphy so let's search for graph okay i'm not seeing that so let's check for something such as i don't know um okay um chat all right i think we should have okay yeah we have this uh, a chat line okay copied and then what other um icon do we need just let's check through um i think we need facebook twitter dribble and then google all right so let's search for those facebook okay so we have this facebook okay i think all right yeah that will those will be here yeah? and then twitter facebook twitter and then we should have tribu okay and then lastly we should have think google yeah na na oh, yeah fun yeah okay so now let's just come here search for the high tag okay let's see i'm not finding any one of them interesting okay okay so let's see all right now instead of fa microphone so let me just replace that with fa microphone all right so that works then we have these and all right let's see let's look for the next one instead of these we're going to use okay fa bar chats okay i think i got that wrong so let's see we're just going to copy this and then paste it right there to create our component All right, so I'm just going to do this. So I'm going to skip ahead um, to the part where I'm actually done with this. Okay, so I'm done. And now let's see and check. Okay, we have this. All right, now to get rid of these, I think, let me just remove okay let me just remove these classes away and let's see if those sort that out because the reason i'm leaving this is um the class name okay dot fa was um styled in the styled sheet style sheets and i want to give it the exact same feeling it's so let's see does that work all right so done so i'm going to do something similar for these we have here and then for these 
so we by the end of um, time I'm done we should have nice looking icons and then okay select these three and then let's come okay then save that and then let's see all right that's looking nice or necessary icons right here okay let's add necessary icons there so for this okay let's see which icon we can use for that let's see okay let's just go to the header i think we should be able to have idea from there and then the component we have the header okay and then right there at the logo we have okay this year think newspaper so let's add a component of newspaper okay so we're going to have that and then i'm going to remove this particular class okay and leaving just the fa and then finally we should have that for search i think we should have that here so i'm going to remove this and then add a class name for the search okay so let's save that and then let's come here and i'm going to refresh that now that's looking better now it's looking so much similar to what we have here and i think okay let's check do we have any other icons needed no i think we are good to go okay we have okay something right here in the breadcrumbs so let's go to the breadcrumbs and then we should have an icon okay so i'm going to insert that here now okay then let's remove this and then now let's check that out to see all right so we can see this okay and then let's come to the about also oh we see it now everything is looking good and nice everything is looking all good and nice so here is um yeah our components and everything being rendered all nice and well so in the next um lesson before we run this up now we're going to be looking at okay some additional things that we can actually um do for example we're going to be adding a bit of styling to this and making sure that okay the background images and the overlay are displaying well oh and we have some areas for improvement some places where they could have, um there should have been icons so i'm going to leave that to you as exercise or um for practice but we're going to sort out these places so for example if i should click on the um about.html and then i should come down we see there's an image in the background and an overlay and same here so we're going to make sure that we have something like that we're going to sell to do that with um custom css in our gsx um components so i'll see you there